Today, I wanted to show you the craft of the day. So what you need for this craft is a coffee filter. If you don't have a coffee filter, you can actually use a paper towel. So you can cut it into a circle or have your child cut it into a circle if you just trace one for them first. You also will need some markers, washable ones, and you will need a spray bottle. And I'll show you why in a little bit. So what we're going to do with our coffee filter is basically just color it. So like I said, you need washable markers because we're actually going to spray these later and the colors are going to kind of run together. So all you have to do on your coffee filter is basically scribble around. It does not have to actually look like anything. You don't have to draw specific pictures. I actually wouldn't waste your time making it anything special, you know, trying to be real precise about the lines because all the colors are just going to run together anyway. Um, the most important thing about this is try to cover your coffee filter as much as possible. It definitely looks a lot better when we spray it later, the more marker that you had on it. If you have a bunch of white spaces, it is going to fill those in, but the colors will be a lot brighter um, if you color most of the coffee filter. But that's up to your child, however much they can color, how much they, however long they tolerate sitting for. That's totally up to you guys. So, so far I have used purple, red, and blue. Maybe I'll try some green. So what I'm doing is I am going to use the colors of the rainbow. Because that's what we're talking about this week, rainbows and colors. So you could use black and brown. Um, I'm just not choosing to do that because I like the bright colors a little bit better. Also, I'm just doing mine in lines. You definitely do not have to do it in lines. It's actually kind of fun if you mix the colors around a little bit. Like I said, you'll see why in a little bit when we go to spray it. Um, red, I need orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. Perfect. So once I have orange, that is actually my last color. All right. So there we go, I have colored in my coffee filter, filling as much of the area as I could. Like I said, I kind of colored it across, but you can do a little color over here, a little color over here, all over the place. However your child chooses to color it is awesome. So now let's go to the sink and I'm going to show you guys the next step. Alright guys, so now for the next step, we are going to take our coffee filter and our spray bottle. I just got this one from the dollar store or maybe Walmart, I don't know, it was very cheap. Um, if you don't have a water bottle or a spray bottle, maybe try recycling something that you have around the house to use one. I know there's like cleaning products and stuff that come in a squirt bottle. So if you empty one of those, just reduce, reuse, recycle and put water in one of those and you can use that. So what you're going to do is hold up your coffee filter, take your water and just go ahead and start spraying it. Now, as I'm spraying it, I like to turn my coffee filter so that the colors kind of run in different directions. It doesn't take all that much. It's easier if you have two hands, but that actually looks like enough. As you can see now, all of my white space is gone and the colors have kind of bled together and it looks a lot nicer. So now we're just going to let that dry and I'll show you what it looks like then. All right guys, so this is what my coffee filter looks like now that it's dry. I hung mine over my drying rack. Um, you can hang it with a clothespin or on a clothesline. Just make sure if it is inside somewhere, you put a paper towel under it so that when it drips, that um, colored water doesn't get all over what's under it. Um, so now what I'm going to do with this is use scissors and cut it into, I think I'm going to cut mine into a rainbow, but you can cut yours into anything you want or just keep it as a circle, whatever you want to do. I'm going to cut mine into a rainbow. Maybe you could do a heart or a square or a flower. I don't know, but this is a great chance for your child to practice their fine motor skills and cutting. What would be easiest for them is if first, if they are going to cut it, 
you draw on it so they know exactly where they're cutting. So that's what I'm going to do. So a rainbow goes across and then arches up and then goes back across. So that's going to help me know where to cut and that'll help your child as well. This kind of shape might be hard for them, so maybe even if you just want to cut some strips out of it, uh, whatever you think, whatever, wherever your child is with their cutting skills. So just prompt them when they are cutting that your thumb points to the sky. So we don't want to have it like this or like this or like that. Thumb to the sky. That's the easiest way to cut. Going across. Now I will go around. Like I said, I think it works with a paper towel as well. I did one like that earlier in the year for a different project that we did. So take a picture and send it to me so I can see what yours came out like. Have fun, guys. See ya.